So a couple of days ago, we made this scene, and I want to share it online. However, the size of it was a bit big for the elements inside, because it only has a monkey and a teapot, so I looked into the poly count, was quite high. I needed a subdivision level 3 for smooth shadows. Then I thought, why did I apply the subdivision surface modifier at the start? So I went back and made a new object, same ones as the monkey and the teapot, and add to them this time a subdivision surface modifier, and also linked the materials for the shader and the contour line of the solidify. I want it to be similar, but with keeping the subsurface modifier without applying it, and since they look the same now, I can delete the original monkey and keep only the new one, then do the teapot as the monkey, and went to save this file to see if there's any difference in size. The poly count did double here, because I'm using subsurface level 4. The original one were on level 2 or 3. However, after saving this as a new file, the size turned out to be 16 times smaller than my original one. Quite an amazing cut in size. For the poly count, we can just keep it on level 1 for the viewport, and your scene will be smooth as normal. I did try it with another modifier, the wireframe one, and the result was half the size cut if you didn't apply it. It is insane that I didn't know this before. It's a habit for me to apply modifiers, and sometimes you have to do that. But you better mind your file size if you can. I thought this worth sharing, so enjoy blending. See you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.